Hi, I'm Greg. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison of some handheld footage against the same footage that's been stabilized using Gyroflow 1.5.2. In this example, I'm shooting on a red Komodo X with a Tokina 11 to 16 mm lens at 11 mm, but these results are achievable on any camera that captures gyroscopic data internally. This isn't a tutorial video, but rather a results showcase and overview. If there's enough interest in a tutorial video in the comments, I can put together a proper tutorial video taking one of these scenes from straight out of camera to the final result. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. So nothing really beats a gimbal, especially for smooth, wide angle interior shots. But this software gives us a viable alternative in post-production. If you're ever in a situation where you don't have access to a gimbal, or if you're shooting on a larger rig that isn't exactly balance friendly, then this is a tool you should really take a look at. Gyroflow is a brilliant and free open source software that stabilizes your footage using the gyroscopic metadata that's captured in camera. This will net you the most accurate possible stabilization results, as well as giving you a plethora of options for precise control over the output image. Once you've created a lens profile for the lens and focal length you shot with, you're good to go. It also comes with a DaVinci Resolve plugin that allows you to add your stabilization data via the Fusion page where you can make further adjustments to your clip while working inside of Resolve. The fundamental problem with software stabilizers, like Warp Stabilizer or Sony Catalyst Browse for example, is that they process the overall clip and punch in to the point where none of the wandering edges are visible and then lock that zoom across the entire shot. This will be based off of the frame of footage that requires the most adjustment and can make for a much tighter shot than you're actually looking for. One of the great features of Gyroflow is the dynamic zoom functionality. If you find yourself with one small section of the clip that requires more extreme stabilization, the dynamic zoom will seamlessly zoom into only that section to avoid the wandering edges, and will then zoom back out to the intended focal length once the offending area is passed. This creates a much more fluid experience and can go largely unnoticed. Gyroflow really gives you the flexibility to have more diversity in how you shoot, without many of the sacrifices we have to make based on location or rig which in turn allows us to focus more on the creative aspect of the shot itself and less on the method of capture. At the end of the day, nothing can really beat a good gimbal for gimbal stabilization, but the gap is definitely narrowing. I'll provide a link to download Gyroflow as well as a camera compatibility list in the description below so you can check out the magic for yourself. Thanks for watching.